Hello and welcome to this new Cosmic Changelog video. Today I want to give you a tour of the app lattice features. So we're going to see the new AI features, how Cosmic can browse the web for you, find images for you, find YouTube videos for you, how you can align uh, images and other items with the snap grid mechanism to create nice compositions, and how our new layering system works. I'll also show you a few quality of life improvements, like how you can navigate between your different universes using those new buttons, and how you can capture images directly on Instagram. So let's get started. First thing first, let's start with the snap grid. So here, for example, I have images. They are nicely aligned. If I want to change the composition, I can just move them, release the click, and they're going to align in that new position. That's a very, very easy mechanism if you want to create a nice layout in Cosmic very easily. If you do not want to use that system, you can just start to drag, press Control, and it's going to deactivate the snap grid, which is a very good way to show you our new layering system. If you want to bring that image to the front, right-click and click the new Bring to Front option. Want to send it to the back? Right-click, Send to Back. And if you have more than two items in a stack, you can also move layer by layer. Just right-click, press Option, and click Move Backward or Move Forward. Very, very straightforward. So those are the new snap grids and the new layering system. Uh, since we're here, I can also show you one of that uh, uh, quality of life improvement. So here, if I open Instagram, I can now capture items directly from, in, from an Instagram page on my Cosmic Canvas. Let's just click on the Smart Capture, click here, and boom, I have an image. Again, boom, I have an image. And you see I can also align them with the Snap Grid. And just like you would expect, we still keep the origin like we do on any other item. So just click here, and we'll restore the source, and you're back on the correct page. Very, very handy. And of course, we tag those images. Which brings me to one other feature I wanted to show you. So here, as you may have seen on the Instagram image I had captured, we have our tagging button, our tag button, which shows you the description and all of the tags we apply directly on that item. We do that so you do not have to do it by yourself. And so when you use search and, for example, you type Totoro, we show you the correct items and you click on them and we center them uh, and we center you on those items, excuse me. But what if you want to find other items? You can, of course, use the browser. You can maybe import things from your finder. But what if you want to go on the web and find other images? That can be a tedious process. Now in Cosmic, you can just select one item and click on the magnifying glass. Or if you want to refine the context and have a more uh, precise result, you can select several items, click on the magnifying glass, and ask Cosmic to find related image or browse the web for you, which will create a stack of links that you may want to browse. Here, I clicked on the image. So here, Cosmic found nine images online for me. I can click to put them one by one on the canvas, or I can also press Option and put them all on the canvas. And because those items are now images on my canvas, they're going to be tagged just like any other item, and I can search for them. So now, if I do, again, the same search, Cosmic show me all of those items which is very, very handy and very, very nice. Um, it works with uh, web links too. So let's select those and ask Cosmic to browse the web. And I'm going to show you how to find videos too. So here Cosmic is finding links on the web about uh, my neighbor Totoro. And I can just, again, press Alt and put them all on my canvas very easily. Just click and they're all added to my, um, to my whiteboard. Press space, and you can read that paper. Press space, and you're on Wikipedia very, very easily. And from there, of course, you can select and add items to your board. And again, they're tagged, and you can search for them. So your restart proce process is really like enhanced by Cosmic, and we take care of it like end to end. So last feature I wanted to show you related to the AI, let's select like um, those two images and ask Cosmic to go on YouTube and find videos about this. And here we are with 10 videos. Click, and you see they're all auto playing directly on my canvas once they're loaded. And the UI kind of recedes in the background so it just looks nicer. And you can create a very cool composition. Just move that image, move that video, add that one, uh, maybe this one, maybe uh, that image. And, and that's just like super easy to do, super handy, super fast. Um, and 
I just think it's a very nice way to create mood boards, to search. Even if you want to search about like serious topics, uh, it's a feature we've built for kind of, you know, for fun, for finding images and videos just like that. Uh, it kind of had that uh, novelty, serendipitous feeling. But you can also use it like when you're, uh, when I'm reading papers, for example, and I want to see other papers by the same author, I just click browse for me and I have like a stack of things that I can just go through. And of course, if they do not correspond to what I hope, I can just delete them. So here we are. This is kind of how we hope Cosmic will help uh, reinvent the browser and uh, reinvent like even the, the, the way we think about what is a canvas, what, it, what does it mean to, to, to kind of uh, have a multiplayer session about something, how to build a mood board, how to align on a project. We're really, really hopeful for that product. Um, and to me, it feels like a visual database and I never have to think about how I want to organize it. And, um, and it's very nice. One feature we've already shown, but I want to show you because here my canvas does not look that nice, is that you can select everything, click on that magic wand and ask us to organize everything either by types or by theme. And here we are with our organization Cosmic Features, Vintage Brown TVs, uh, Goblin Animation School, My Neighbor Totoro, Stu Studio Ghibli and Miyazaki, Films in Media, Abstract Art and YouTube Videos. That's like so, so convenient. Uh, and I'm, I hope you'll like it as much as, as we like building it. Uh, we hope you, you'll enjoy that new release. Last thing I wanted to show you is how you can move uh, between universes with those new arrows. Uh, to have a very easy kind of, uh, you know, navigation experience. So we hope you'll enjoy that too. Uh, thank you so, so much and see you very soon for another Cosmic release. Have a great day.